Hi, this is Priya Arya and today I am going to talk about stress management. What is stress? What if I say stress is your best friend? How would you react? Because you've been told otherwise that stress is bad for you. Stress brings about a physical damage, mental damage. But in order to understand stress, let's go through the anthropology way. Human beings are pack animals. We were supposed to live in the jungles. The real jungles, where the real threat was the predators eating you up. And to protect us, nature gave us two beautiful hormones, cortisol and adrenaline. With a little bit of cortisol and adrenaline in our blood, we jump. We jump towards safety. We either fight or we flee. And this leads to our protection our safety, our life. Unfortunately for us, we shifted from the natural jungles to the concrete jungles, where predators took different shapes. Now for you, dear students, your exams are the biggest predators, but are they going to kill you? Maybe in the longer run if you don't succeed, but immediately, no. So stress is a very natural phenomenon to threat. And we need to now understand what threats do we have in our life. For example, I am going to take up your examination stress as of now because that is important and you're going through that phase. What happens in examination? Either you're prepared or you're not prepared. If you're not prepared, obviously you're going to have higher levels of stress because of anxiety, because of different thought processes that you go through because you are not prepared. The only way to combat stress is being prepared for your exams. And now I'm going to just let you know, how do you prepare for your exams? How do you make sure that you're exceeding? How do you make sure that you are competent enough to move forward in this entire world? My dear child, remember one thing, you cannot be good at everything. So if you're not good at a few things, do not stress about it, just practice a little more. So I'm going to give you five, six pointers here. Firstly, you need to focus. You need to have a plan. What is your plan? Where is the discipline? Are we giving the, the quality time, not the quantity? I don't want you giving 24 hours for studies because that's again going to create a lot of stress. You need time for yourself. Also, that me time is very important. So plan your day. Plan your hours. Give one hour to your studies. One hour. Your brain, human brain, basically cannot take more than 20 minutes at a, in a go. In a go, you should not sit beyond 20 minutes. So 20 minutes, after every 20 minutes, you take a 5 minutes break. Have water. Eat something. Oh, by the way, eating also helps. Eating uh, uh, food which is good in dopamine, the happy hormones, uh, like sugar, like a dark chocolate, that, that brings up the mood, that elevates the uh, being. And it, it helps you retain knowledge uh, better. Better than when you are high on cortisol and adrenaline. So get your dopamine right. That is your happy hormone which you require to study, which you require to combat stress. Uh, after every 20 minutes, take a break. Just step away. Close your eyes for 5 minutes. Come back again. 20, 20 minutes. Your brain does not have the capacity to study beyond 20 minutes. Five minutes break after every 20 minutes is your first step. Second, first step is planning. Second step is timing. Third step is practicing. When you learn something new, it remains in your system for the next two weeks. You need a revision in two weeks, otherwise you forget and you have to restart all over again. So many a times you realize just before your exams, you had studied a subject or a chapter a long time back and now you don't remember anything. That's because you did not revise it. Revision is very important. You need at least three revisions. The first revision should be after two weeks of studying it for the first time. The next can be after a month. The next can be after two months. So your brain retains the information. Repeated information. Very important. So first time when you learn something, it will take a longer time to learn. Second time, the time span will be very small. And third time, it will just be a walkthrough. 
So plan your revisions, not just completing the chapters. Very important. And that is why when just before your exams, where you will open your books, your stress levels will be low because your mind has retained all the information that was required. Another thing, very important thing, what we forget, the me time. You need to have those happy moments around you with your loved ones, with your friends. You need to de-stress. You need the happy hormones, the dopamines, the serotonin. All of these hormones are important for you. So how do you get it? If all the time you're studying, your stress levels are obviously going to go up. So do not do that to yourself. Go, study for 20 minutes, study for one hour, 20, 20, 20. You have uh, three sets. After that, just go out, be with your family for half an hour, come back again, do it again, go. And while you are studying, please switch your mobiles off. Because that becomes a source of distraction and your brain is meant to protect you. The minute you get distracted and the minute you tell yourself, oh, I'm enjoying this, your brain will make sure that you don't go back to your studies. Because it is taking the studies as a stress factor. So let's uh, create an environment where you're, you help your brain to help you. Basically, you have to start controlling your brain to help you. And I completely agree that it is easier said than done but with practice you will be able to overcome this stress the hurdle called stress and the stress which is so important for you because had it not been for stress you would have been so laxed up and you wouldn't have pushed yourself towards your success so stress is definitely your best friend but you should know how to use it at your best thank you so much